You've heard of K-pop, K-drama? Want to binge while watching all of that? Here you have K-chicken. This is me, the Bombay Chef Barney Namdar, and let's begin Korean Fried Chicken. The whole trick here is to double fry the chicken for that nice, crunchy, yet juicy bits of chicken. Let's get the marination first, which is as simple as salt and pepper. And for that crunch, cornstarch. I am using chicken breast here, which is cut into cubes. I'm going to salt this well. And with this, freshly cracked black pepper. We mix this well. And into this, we also mix in cornstarch to make this nice and crisp. Let's mix this well and immediately let's deep fry this. Let's dust away the extra flour. And this now gets deep fried. Do not overcrowd the pan while frying so that the chicken pieces become nice and crisp. Once the chicken is kind of half fried, I'm going to remove this and rest it on a tissue paper till I fry the entire batch. Once this is fried and ready, we keep this aside for at least two minutes. In that time, we whack the flame on an absolute high and then fry this on high flame so that it becomes nice, crisp, golden brown on the outside, also beautifully crunchy and soft, juicy and succulent within. Let's wait for two minutes. The chicken, like I said, is nice, crisp and golden brown. Let's transfer this on an absorbent tissue paper so that all the excess oil is drained away. With this, off goes the flame. And let's move into the next step and that is making the sauce which gets you the Korean-ness in this recipe. Let's do that. Let's begin with regular vegetable oil. Say a tablespoon or a little more. And to this, I'm going to add in chili powder. Now, traditionally in this recipe, you add in something called gochujang. Instead of that, you can also add in Kashmiri chili paste. What I'm using is Kashmiri chili powder because I understand that this is normally available in your kitchen pantry. Now, before this begins to burn, I'm going to slide in paste of ginger and garlic and cook this for 30 seconds. Once the raw flavor of the ginger, garlic and red chili goes out, I'm going to add in honey. Honey is going to add in that earthiness in this recipe. The next thing that goes in is sugar for sweetness, of course. The sweetness in this recipe, frankly, depends on your personal liking. I like it tad bit sweet with the sour element. So for that, soy sauce as well. Now this is light soy sauce because eventually what you need is a red colored sauce and not a brown colored one. For that added nuttiness in this recipe, I'm going to add in sesame oil, salt, mirin. If you cannot lay your hands on mirin, you can add any rice wine vinegar or any rice wine. If you do not get anything, just add in maybe a few drops of a vinegar of your choice. But if you can lay your hands on gochujang and mirin, you're really lucky. But nevertheless, this is the recipe for all those who may not have that in your pantries. Trust me, the taste is very close to Korean fried chicken. Let me slide in the fried chicken. The chicken has become nice, crispy and crunchy. A touch of black pepper. We toss this and wait for nothing else on the planet.
Finally, on top of this, toasted white sesame seeds along with spring greens. One quick toss. And with this, off goes the flame. And like I said earlier, wait for nothing else. Let's serve. Topping this up with some more roasted sesame seeds and finally some more spring greens.